Hello everybody, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk back again today for a new video. Hope you all are having an incredible weekend. Uh, we are now into Saturday afternoon, early evening. Tonight I've got a video for you um, where I'm going to go see a movie in the movie theater, but not a new movie. I'm going to go see The Godfather in the movie theater. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary of the original Godfather, which released in 1972, and so they're doing a limited re-release of the film into uh, several movie theaters around the country for a limited time, and my small local theater actually got it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I have never seen The Godfather before. <laughs> that is sacrilege for somebody who claims to be a, you know, really, really into movies. Um, it never appealed to me for a long time. It would have scared me as a child, I'm sure. And then it's only been the last few years that I've kind of, you know, opened up to mob movies. And I actually kind of like mob movies now. They weren't really my jam back in the day. So I figured I need to see this movie. It's the 50th anniversary. There's a 4K set that's coming out. And of course, this re-release is happening. So I figured uh, there is no better opportunity than to watch The Godfather for the first time in a movie theater like people did back in 1972. So I think that's a pretty cool experience. And, you know, in a way, I guess I'm glad that I waited this long to go see it. So I've heard, you know, amazing things about The Godfather, as everybody has. And, you know, people consider it to be a perfect movie, one of the greatest of all time. So what I'm going to kind of do is report to you guys on what I think about the movie. I'm sure it will be fantastic. Um, so probably not uh, too much of a spoiler. Kind of waiting for my thoughts. I'm sure I will love it. But, you know, who knows? Um, sometimes fantastic movies are fantastic, but they're just not for you. So we'll see if that's the case. But I'm hoping I really love it because I went ahead and bought the Blu-ray set. Um, because, spoiler, I'm not planning on picking up the 4K set. Uh, largely because of just terrible packaging on that standard set. And I'm not spending the extra money for the limited set. Um, so I know a lot of people are looking forward to pick, picking that one up. Uh, I'm probably just going to stick with the Blu-rays for the time being. All right, uh, I will see you guys when it's much darker outside, when I'm at the theater, and I will give you my overall thoughts on The Godfather. A few moments later. All right, so I just left the theater from seeing The Godfather, and I finally have new lighting <laughs> for when I do these videos out in the car in the dark. If you've been watching the channel for a while... Usually the lighting is just awful, so I finally bought me a light so I can be somewhat professional here. Uh, so I just got finished seeing The Godfather for the very first time in a movie theater on the big screen, like people who watched it for the very first time in 1972. And I gotta say, that was an incredible experience. I'm so happy that this wound up being the way that I watched the film for the first time. It is just such an iconic movie, and... I recognize, you know, there's several famous lines from the movie that I knew a couple kind of plot points, but I certainly didn't know the uh, entire extent of the plot and everything that was going to happen in the film. I knew kind of, you know, a couple of the, the very famous lines, like, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse and, and that kind of stuff. But then I recognized so many other things, some like uh, shots in the movie that have been turned into memes on the internet. I, I finally recognized, oh, that's where that's from. Uh, some other famous uh, lines like, look at how he massacred my boy. <laughs> um, some other things that have been, you know, parodied, 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 I don't even know if that's the right word. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> in other uh, movies, TV shows, etc., uh, this movie is, it gets high praise for a very good reason. I mean, the performances are amazing. The script is amazing. Um, it is the quintessential mob movie, I think. I mean, it it's one of, you got to kind of think of the context of the movie in 1972. I mean, this is pretty intense for 1972 and what was mainstream back then. Um, so it's definitely a groundbreaker in that regard. And you cannot... Um, understate the impact that this movie had not just on popular culture but on film and cinema as a whole and you gotta thank Francis Ford Coppola and the story for that um, it is a fantastic story I did like I said earlier I ordered the blu-ray set in the mail um, so I'm definitely excited to dive into part two and part three 
Now I know there's a director's cut version of part three, which is the one that Francis Ford Coppola wants people to watch. Uh, it's called The Godfather Coda. And I think he prefers that over the original cut of the film. Uh, so I'm interested to watch, um, I'll have to watch part three, the original first, and then watch the Coda version and see uh, how the differences stack up. Because I've heard they're pretty different films as a whole. Uh, you just have a stellar cast in this movie. I mean, you've got, of course, Marlon Brando. You've got uh, Al Pacino, James Caan. Um, Abe Vigoda is really good in this movie, which I really only knew Abe Vigoda for comedy. I don't know if he's, like, super famous for his comedy and his dramatic acting, but really the only thing I... The only reason why I knew Abe Vigoda's name was because he was at several of the Comedy Central roasts back in the day. Um... And then, let's see, who else do you have? You have Robert Duvall, who's pretty good in this movie. Not an actor that I'm usually a fan of, but he was pretty great in the movie as well. That's really all I have to say about The Godfather. I'm sure, you know, it's a three-hour movie, so it's just fresh in the brain right now. I'm sure as I watch it again, because I'm definitely going to watch it again uh, one of these days, I'll pick up on some more and kind of get some more in-depth thoughts about the movie. But for now, I'm excited to dive into the sequels. I'm super happy I got to see this on the big screen. I was actually the only person in the theater, which made it even more cool. So I was the only person in the theater on a big screen. It was the ideal way to watch this movie for the first time. Uh, so incredible experience. By the way, I'm giving the movie a perfect 5 out of 5 because I saw absolutely no flaws with this movie. It was fantastic. And also for three hours, it flies by. It's a fantastic movie. So, The Godfather, um, go ahead and let me know your thoughts down below on the movie. I'm sure most of you have seen it. I'm probably the oddball here that hasn't actually seen The Godfather up till tonight. Uh, have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you later.